Hello, welcome. I want to quickly give you an update uh, of uh, the School Pro. I'm so much excited uh, for what we have done in today's episode. I just want to give you just a quick uh, of what we have just like done. I'm just going to start with the most exciting ones. So all the sections for the entire school website have been complete except one that I gave as I gave as a task uh, to complete it the footer. But we have all the sections done. Okay. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Like, I'm really feeling so good. Like, creating all these sections from the back end, we're using the Node.js and also the Next.js on the front end. This is so great. Uh, let's look at the most uh, interesting one is the contact. So, if you say that this is the one we did uh, last. And it is one of the most nice ones, uh, like the setting up the contact uh, section of the website. By the way, let me first show you the website, how it looks like. So this is the website that each school got to be generated. Like the school has ability to customize each and every content of this site. Like, Literally, they can change anything. You're going to see it in a second. You can change any part of this site from the dashboard. You had me so well. I'm just going to start with the ones you cannot imagine. Um, so the first one is like this contact section, right? So the contact section, you can customize this text. You can customize this. Even everything here, you can also customize it and everything that looks here you can also customize it the way you want so if i just go back to the customization area uh here for instance you can see talk to us i can change this to contact us and i'm just going to leave this one uh save so then i can just say go to the contact to the contact cards and on the contact cards what is most important is you can change all the labels uh for the cards and the cards are these ones the ones you're seeing here we have the location card this one now the email card is very important because this emails is where all these notifications for this one they will go so we, we use this one if the school has no primary email we'll use the one that they said on the contact section so now we can first start by updating this so that would be great let me go and open my email here uh, you can just go ahead and just say gmail let me open gmail and i'm just going to copy this gmail uh, this one copy so now let me go back and I can update this email uh, here so you can just go here update the email and then uh, anything else you can update all these labels press holders and everything you want let's update uh, down here you can say save changes and finally on the contact form you can change the press holders on anything for instance this i can name it as name instead of full name and then this one as phone instead of phone number like you can just like name them you want email like this and then you can also put this here you can put john Doe at gmail dot com jando and you can change this color for the uh the button maybe make it more dark like i don't know make it more bright you can just change the color the way you want they just like stick to this save changes and you see so you customized everything if you go back to the site uh let's refresh okay uh, let's refresh and the yep so you can see we have the email uh then uh, you have the name phone email and even the john doe are uh, here and everything so the most uh, nice thing that now 
when we submit so i'm just going to go here and submit a message from here i'm just going to write my name uh, here and this is the phone number email i'm just going to say that uh how much uh is for uh paying uh for registration okay hello i was inquiring uh how much do you charge for is for registration and when is the deadline uh, deadline uh, so you we can send now this message when the deadline so just going to quickly submit this now you are on the school website remember and then so just go ahead and submit this sending please wait okay so it seems like something is not right okay so this has sent um i'm just going to write another one uh just want to see but this uh has worked let me just like change write for another person i'm just going to say uh judith modoni modoni and then the uh, the email is going to be judith judith modoni uh gmail.com and then i'm just going to see is when is the visitation day and then yes go here here i was inquiring when will it be the visiting day for all the students okay so like this submit okay so you can see message sent successfully your message has been sent successfully you will be contacted within 24 uh, hours so if we check now the emails so i just go back this side you will see that we have two emails the first one we first sent and the second one so look at these uh emails guys they look really awesome okay they really look awesome so we send this email new contact form submission you have received a new message from your school website uh contact form and then you can see judith mudoni you can email back so even here hello i was inquiring blah blah you can reply to judith as you can see uh here already you uh, have this one opening okay so after this uh this is not the only thing that has happened if you go back to this side you will see that if i refresh i will have now three uh notifications so i have three notifications right now and the last one we have new message from website contact form a person named judith mdoni sent a message with a subject when is the visitation day one minute ago and we just are going to uh looking at how you can make this red as this uh right now this is not really working at the back end okay but these notifications are coming from straight from the database now if you come here to the table so under communications we have website messages which we get all the messages uh from uh that we have received from the website so you can see the last one is judith modoni and you can read the message hello i was inquiring when will be the visiting day for all the students 
uh really nice so that was really great now let me show you the second nice thing that we have done so you can customize also so you see we customized uh the contact section another one that is very interesting to see is actually the the gallery section so the gallery section is also very amazing um so first of all you can see this is how it looks like uh the gallery you can filter uh with all these so first of all you can create the gallery category let's create one gallery category uh here of course you can customize the header like for instance i can change this to our school uh gallery and save and then i just go to categories and then i can create a new category they just create here demo uh category and then I'm just going to add this demo category here okay and so we have now a demo category so let's add some images uh in this demo category so i come to the gallery images and let's add in a new image so maybe how about getting from uh, this one save this image looks like really nice okay and i'm just going to go back to this uh where to here a new image let's select the image we have just added this one okay i'm just going to give it a title sabrina posing with sabrina uh posing with sharon on the maybe the visiting visiting day I don't know select this one select the category of just created demo and you're just going to say here uh, this is the image of uh, Sabrina I don't know Sh the spelling of the Sabrina uh, posing with her friend her friend uh, Sharon um, who are all our who are all in primary in primary six I just add the image so you can add the date or leave it the date is optional but let's just add the date when this was maybe july uh, i don't know like july <laughs> we can just like select in 2024 october and then like let's add that so add the image and the image was added just like look at this you can see sabrina posing with sharon on the visiting day one you can also delete the image but importantly now if we go to the school website so before refreshing if i just go to the school here this is the one so you see we don't have the category also we don't have this image because we are under all and we don't have that image here so let me go and refresh and now we have another one which is a demo category and already we have this sabrina posing with sharon on the visiting day so if you just click on this you can see it is under the demo uh, category as well as these ones they have uh, their own uh, images so the nice thing if you click on the image you look at the this whole full uh, image gallery with nice sabrina posing with sharon on the visiting day the image this is the image of sabrina posing with her friend uh who are all in primary six and then you have the image when uh it was maybe taken the period 
and then you can browse through other images okay so you can just like go to i think others wait so you are uh, okay in this category it is only one image let's click on all and then go to this now here we can browse through different images okay so like you browse for images if you're in the academics you go to the first one you see like you have one out of three within this category so now you can browse through like this so this was so fun so you can customize every part of this including the news section like we have the news okay you can customize and look at the news so we have the news we have the same as uh the events so you can also look at the event when they are going to happen election of read uh, of leaders and then you can also look at the details okay so we have all this whole section that is connecting so for instance all these about us it will scroll to about us if you click on admissions it will scroll to admissions and you can set all these ones by the way uh still uh in the navigation section so here we have like a navigation and in the navigation is where you can set uh you can set all these things for instance our navigation you can navigate uh rename the links and of course you can preview them here and then you can upload a new logo and of course even this text here so for instance unique updated i can remove and save changes like this is really really so good uh so that's what we just covered in today's and we completed all the sections now if you just say uh, go to this uh here you can see we get the up to date of the percentage completion and you if you just go down here we show you the need the sections that need attention like as you can see here and you want you can go ahead and set up the footer and then all the activities that we are doing you can see them here for instance we just updated the logo so logo was updated successfully and this was nine seconds ago and then we added a new image gallery that is three minutes ago so everything you do on the website we get all the updates uh, as we said in the dashboard side you get to see all the submissions from the website as as well as these notifications uh, that you that are specifically for the contact section on the website you get these uh, nice images uh, like this and as well as you receive emails so you see you receive this email when someone contacts uh, your web uh, on the website so this was really great work we coded six hours straight uh today that was really high energy so if you want to get started let's roll